The strategic bomber is one of the three pillars of nuclear weapons. It is the fastest, the most accurate and the most flexible in its means. It can strike first and directly take out the enemy's command headquarters and nuclear weapons arsenal, and it can also retaliate comprehensively after being beaten. As science and technology become more and more developed, all kinds of detection technology also advances rapidly. Stealth Bomber has become the target of the countries competing for research and development. Recently, a technical program for China's Boom-20 bomber was exposed online. From the photos that have been circulated, there is a paper from several years ago that describes in detail the design and performance parameters of the Boom-20 stealth bomber. The Boom-20's design is really quite distinctive, and it doesn't follow the usual path, unlike the US B-2 bomber, but is somewhat similar to Chengfei's sixth generation aircraft. The B-2 is the world's first stealth strategic bomber, as the strongest model in this field is even one generation ahead of the Russian strategic bomber. For the Chinese Air Force far bombing mainstay Boom-6 is not in a class at all. Adopting the flying wing layout, it can indeed bring large range, large bomb capacity, as well as low detectability and high stealth performance, fully meeting the U.S. Air Force's global reach, global strike, strategic needs. Because of the early development time, it is equivalent to become the standard setter in this field, so it has been considered the reference object of Boom 20. However, this wing layout also has inherent shortcomings, cancelling the horizontal and vertical tail, the requirements of the flight control system is very high, and maneuverability is greatly affected. There is no way to carry out high-speed flight, ordinary third-generation aircraft if there is a chance to get close to it, and even can be used to directly shoot down the cannon, so this strategic bomber is actually quite a lot of problems. Since there are a lot of defect, as a later Boom-20 will not copy everything, so in the positioning with the B-2, is very different, and the B-21, compared to the same is also very different. Boom 20 need to take into account the omnidirectional stealth, as well as supersonic cruising ability. Completely using the B-2 aerodynamic program will not go. So, there is a two types of aircraft said. Considering the various shortcomings of the traditional wing, it was enlarged on the basis of a next-generation fighter program pre-researched by a sister institute. And then after two years of revision and wind tunnel testing and simulation tests, the supersonic configuration after the elongated wing was confirmed. The program description is very detailed, and there are many advantages of the stealth strategic bomber after the elongated wing configuration. One is low drag, which increases the airplane's cruising speed and top speed, and does not require particularly powerful engines, and more importantly, saves fuel. 2. The wing loading is low, which allows the aircraft to maintain high maneuverability for long periods of time. 3. The space utilization of the wings and fuselage is high, allowing more fuel and weapons to be carried. 4. The radar reflection cross-sectional area is small, so the stealth effect is good. 5. The heading stability can be improved by the inclined surfaces on both sides of the engine compartment, which reduces weight while ensuring good flight performance. With the improvement of aerodynamic layout, the Boom 20 bomber not only has the ability to cruise at supersonic speeds, but its overall agility and flight performance have also been greatly improved. Even in the face of the US new generation of B-21 bomber, this elongated wing structure of the Boom 20 still has these advantages, because the design of the B-21 is still mainly to improve stealth. Cruising speed and maneuverability is put on the back burner. Compare the configuration in the thesis proposal, which is actually an enlarged version of the current Chengfei 6th generation aircraft J-36. The specific positioning of the Boom 20 is also very clear, because the target is across the ocean. So in the transcontinental strike at the same time to consider how to return safely, stealth performance is strong, but also can not guard against the enemy on the return route to predict the interception. If the return was found and catch up with the traditional flying wing layout high subsonic speed obviously can not escape. Therefore, the use of sixth generation aircraft aerodynamic layout, supersonic crews for detour over the interceptor, even if they are found to have enough speed to get rid of, for example, can only be carried out at Mach 1.6 crews F-22 cannot catch up at all. Enlarged fuselage is very large, the Boom 20 will also be equipped with six turbofan 15 engines, three on the left and three on the right, which can provide nearly 100 tons of thrust. Compare the two 160 strategic bomber, four in K-32, the total thrust is only about 98 tons. The two thrust is comparable to see the Boom 20, do not have to worry about the lack of power. The point is that the use of six engines, failure redundancy is also much higher than the use of four units, for example, four engine bomber if one of the problems, the loss of power is about 25%. However, if one of the six-engine bomber 20 
S fails, the power loss is only 16.7%, which still guarantees strategic bombing missions and better battlefield survivability. With a reliable aerodynamic layout and strong power, the Boom 20's technical and tactical specifications are very heavy, and it is a step ahead of both the B-2 and its derivative, the B-21, with a maximum takeoff weight of 245 tons, a bomb load of 15 tons, and a fuel load of 140 tons. It can cruise at supersonic speeds of Mach 1.8 to achieve a maximum range of 11,000 kilometers, or at subsonic speeds to achieve a maximum range of 13,500 kilometers. It can also be changed to heavy mode, such as 25 tons of ammunition, 130 tons of fuel, with a supersonic cruise at Mach 1.8, the maximum range can reach 9,400 km. Subsonic conditions, it can achieve a maximum range of 11,800 km. From the composition in Chengfei J36, basically the same, and, finalized, time is in 2012. Visible Boom 20 development has been very reliable, just short of the final public appearance.